In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite little blitz in Madden 22. It's super simple to set up, and it's super effective whether your opponent blocks a tight end or he blocks a running back out of the gun bunch. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do new videos like this every single day. Now, the player we're going to be going over in this video is the Nickel 335 Odd Tampa 2. Um, this is one of my favorite base defenses in the entire game. Now, before we dive too far into this, I do want to let you know that I have a Nickel Nickel 335 odd defensive ebook. So if you've not gotten the Nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I would highly encourage you to do that. And the reason why is because it, I believe that it features some incredible, incredible pressure uh, in this game. The pressure that you can get from this formation is absolutely insane. So I would encourage you, if you've not gotten that defensive guide, to go ahead and get it today. There's a link in the description below, and you can get that guide for just 15 bucks once you click that website link. All right, so here's your setup. All you're going to do is you're going to spread your line, you're going to spread your linebackers, and then you're going to show blitz. Uh, and then from there, the last step is to crash my defensive line down. Now, from this point, the blitz is set up. Like, I don't have to do anything else, but I can make the blitz better. But I'll just show you here. That's the base rush right there. As you can see, we get that easy pressure off that left side. Super, super simple. So, again, we're just um, – you can even just spread your defense if you wanted to. I found that to be a little inconsistent from an alignment perspective, but that's just my opinion. Um, you can do it, and we'll show you again here. The concept will work very consistently. Okay, so as you can see, we get really good pressure pressure um we get really really good pressure when we do the, those adjustments now how can we make this a little bit better well the first step that we can do is we can go ahead and put the middle linebacker into a man coverage assignment onto the running back the reason we would do that is if the running back blocks what you'll see is is normally this he'll actually come through the a gap and kind of push the pocket as you saw right there he'll kind of push the pocket if the running back blocks the other reason why i like to do that is normally that's going to mean that our blitz will be 100 percent consistent now sometimes with my user i've kind of gotten a little sloppy as far as like where i stand and stuff but what you'll see is as you can see right there blocked running back and the blitz comes completely clean now the other thing that we can do with this is we can actually zone out a couple of players as well so we can zone out the nose tackle and we can zone out the defensive end on the right side of the screen and basically we're just going to kind of stand like right in here uh, with our user and what you're going to see is even against a blocked running back at that point we're going to get this pressure coming completely clean so that's two man pressure against a blocked running back now again i would say that you know it, it is you could say it's a three man but the thing the thing is like if they if they put the running back out on the route it turns into a two man so this is just one of my favorite little concepts here now let me show you another thing one of one of the most effective tactics available on the offensive side of the ball is to block your tight end to pick up pressure as you can see the delay fade does absolutely nothing to pick this blitz up absolutely nothing to pick this blitz up so what that means is we're going to be able to pretty much guarantee our pressure unless they max protect. Now, let me show you what a max protect will do to this. Now, I will say that max protect does make this a little bit weird, um, but a, a lot of times I actually find that I can get some, some pretty good pressure against max protect. Let me show you that one more time. And again, um, it, it typically comes down to whether or not that running back will suction to the middle of the field. Most of the time he will. Um, most of the time he will. And again, I, I think a lot of it comes down to like where you're going to kind of stand with your user so if i stand like right here hold left trigger you'll see that time we got picked up um and that's you know that is what it is but again they're blocking eight people or seven people uh and you're only blitzing two people so you got a significant advantage in terms of coverage um and again most of the time this will come completely clean uh against a max protect setup let me just show you again We'll come down just like that. And there you see there's two-man pressure against Max Protect. That's why I like the nickel 335 odd. I feel like the pressure is really, really consistent off of that left side edge, especially if um, especially if you have, you know, the, the crashing. The, the real key is spread your line and crash them either to the right or down. Um, and that, that's kind of up to you what you want to do. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, we, Like I said, we release new videos every day, so make sure you're subscribed. And also, if you want to get the nickel 335 odd defense, you want to learn the rest of the defense uh, that I have out of this formation, I would encourage you to get my defensive ebook. I think the pressure in this formation is absolutely insane. Probably the best pressure in Madden 22, in my opinion. So if you want to get access to that defensive ebook, all you got to do is go down into the description. There's a link right there you can click that link it'll take you right over to the website and you can get the whole defense for just 15 dollars thanks so much for your time and if you want to get the guide just head on down to the description